In a world full of cutting edge cameras, each boasting more bells and whistles than the last, there is one catch that often gets overlooked, the need for the ever-present internet connection. So what do you do when your adventurous spirit or property line takes you beyond the limit of your trusty Wi-Fi? Whether it's that secluded nook of your backyard, a cabin or barn tucked away in the woods, or your getaway home that's more off-grid than on radar, then this camera has you covered. Not only does it have few boundaries, it also has a ton that you want to go as long as you've got two things, a 4G signal and the sun. So stay tuned as we talk about all of the new features of the Eufy S330 4G camera. Hey everyone, it's Ryan with The Smart House. And on this unfortunately cold day, we're gonna be taking a look at another one of Eufy's 2024 camera lineup. This camera combines a number of popular features from other Eufy cameras with one very unique feature, 4G connectivity. So we're gonna be taking a deep dive at all the impressive features, talk about some installation tips, and then discuss who this camera might be a good fit for. But before we jump in, just a quick thank you to Eufy for not only sending over the camera for me to take a look at, but for also their continued support of this channel. So let's see what features that this camera has to offer. All right, so let's start off with the most important part about any camera, the quality of the video. So this camera boasts a full 4K resolution sensor meaning that you can capture the entire scene, but also have enough crisp detail to zoom in for far away objects. It also comes equipped with both color and black and white night vision. The color night vision is aided with the included 100 lumen spotlight, which is this ring around the outside of the camera. If you don't want to use the color night vision, you can switch it over to black and white, which uses the embedded IR emitters. In addition, down below, it has a passive infrared sensor in order to trigger recording based on motion. This motion recording is also enhanced with the onboard person recognition that's standard on most Eufy cameras today. Now, the black and white night vision boasts a range of up to 26 feet, which would be very nice uh, if you're putting this someplace outdoors, especially along a trail. Now, as I mentioned before, the camera does support full pan and tilt, which means you can spin the camera 360 degrees around the horizontal and about 70 degrees along the vertical. The camera will not actually look straight ahead, so if you're wanting that particular angle, make sure to mount the camera higher. Also included is the very helpful AI tracking, which just like on the S330 solo cam that I reviewed a few weeks ago, if it detects a person walking in front of the camera, it will actually move around and continue to track them as long as they stay within range. And that's great because that's all done on board and allows you to get a more full usage of the camera's range, even if it's in a remote location. There's also an included microphone and speaker for two-way audio and the 100 lumen spotlight and speaker double as an alarm system. So you can use it to scare away intruders. Now, when it comes to onboard storage, this camera actually comes with a included micro SD card and SD card slot. So it comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in the box, but you can expand that up to 128 gigabytes. If you do use the included 32 gigabyte micro SD card, they claim that gives you about eight months of footage stored on board. Of course, if you do run over the storage, it will just go ahead and erase the oldest item on there. So it'll continue to roll over and you won't need to go back in and delete anything. That micro SD slot is here on the top of the camera with a weatherproof cover over the top of it. Now also included in the box is one of the larger of the Eufy solar panels. This one's about 44 watts and they claim it's twice as large as other cameras in their lineup. It uses a weatherproof USB connector to connect to the back of the camera and can be extended if necessary. Now, unfortunately, this camera doesn't come with an included top mount, so you'll have to use the included solar mounting kit in order to secure the solar panel to another surface. The S330 solo camera actually had a mount on top that allows you to place the solar panel on the camera and mount it with just one location. Fortunately, this one doesn't come with it, probably because of the larger solar panel. Now, the camera itself has a 9,400 milliamp hour battery. This means it'll last about a month without having to charge it or if you don't have solar available. So that's a good option if you wanted to set this up in a particular location and monitor it for about a month. But because it's equipped with Eufy's forever power, this means that as long as you get about two hours of sun daily at the location, you will never have to charge the camera. Of course, that really depends on weather conditions if it's super cold out, you're not gonna get as much battery life, or if you have a lot of motion or are accessing the camera, you'll have to charge it more frequently. But I have found that the vast majority of my Eufy cameras will hold up in all weather, and I rarely have to take them down to charge them. Now, of course, because 
This system is intended to be outdoors. It is IP65 rated for both dust and water resistance, as long as you use the included boots and covers. It can also handle fairly harsh environments from negative four degrees Fahrenheit up to 122 degrees. So this will cover most people's range. And as I have mentioned before, my UV cameras have gone well below that negative four degree temperature point and I've never had any problems. Again, your battery life will probably suffer. Now let's discuss the unique feature of this camera and that's the 4G connectivity. Now you do have the option of using Wi-Fi if you are in range of your house. Plus this camera is compatible with the Homebase 3 so if you do have one of those and you are in range of your home, you can use its Wi-Fi to connect into the home base and get access to all of those additional features like vehicle tracking and animal tracking, plus facial recognition. But if you're using this on its own, it could be used either on a guest Wi-Fi or the included 4G nano SIM card. Now you can use either the 4G or the Wi-Fi, but it has to be selected in the app and it will not dynamically change. So you can't use the 4G as a backup for your Wi-Fi. I'd like to see that added sometime in the future. Now included in the box is a nano SIM card from EIoT Club and it includes a 100 megabytes seven day trial. If necessary, you can purchase additional months through EIoT Club or you can use your own cell phone vendor. It does have tri-network connectivity, so if you do use the EIoT Club card, it will switch between AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon. But you can always subscribe through your own phone vendor if you want to keep it on a single plan. Along the back of the camera is the flap that you open to insert the nano SIM, which again, you could swap out if you need to. There's also the power port for charging and for connecting to the solar panel. And above that is an optional antenna port. So if you did have a location where you needed to boost the signal, you can purchase a third party antenna and connect it back here. Along the top and back is the new mount style that Eufy's debuted this year. And I really like the way this one works. It's much easier to snap the camera in and out in case you need to take it down for maintenance or to charge. So now that we've seen all the features of the camera, let's take a look at some quick installation tips. Now, just like every other outdoor UFI camera, all the same rules apply. You wanna make sure you put this camera somewhere that of course is gonna see the area that you wanna cover. And the fact that it's a pan tilt camera means you wanna put this on something like a tree, a pole, or the corner of a house or building. That way you have the full range of motion that you can capture and utilize. Now, what makes this camera unique is, of course, the fact that you could put it pretty much anywhere. The only limitation really is the sun. So if you are gonna use this with a solar panel, you'll need to also have an additional location to secure the solar panel that is facing towards the sun during at least two hours of the day. Now, as I mentioned before, it has the new UFI clip on it, which makes it so much easier to install. But this camera comes with another little feature, a temporary installation strap. This webbing belt comes with a quick release buckle and allows you to thread it through the mount point for temporary installation on say a tree or a pole. But this is a great feature if you wanna temporarily install it somewhere and then come retrieve it later on, especially if you're gonna be under a month and you can leave it out there without having to attach the solar panel. Now, just be aware, you wanna make sure you minimize movement in front of the camera unless you wanna run the battery down. So don't put this in front of a busy location. You wanna make sure it's facing somewhere away from normal traffic. That way you will reserve the battery and storage for only the things you care about. Of course, before you go off-grid, make sure to set this up at your home on your own Wi-Fi so you can pull down any firmware updates and also make sure everything's functional before you head out into the woods. Now that we've seen all the features and how to get it installed, let's head back inside where it's much warmer and we'll take a look at the app options and go through some more details about those features. So if you've gotten any help out of this video, please do me a favor and give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're looking for more smart home tutorials or reviews, please subscribe to the channel. So now that we're back in the office and also back from our trip, let's take a look at the one thing I was really curious about when it came to this camera, how to actually set it up on a 4G SIM card. The major difference between this camera and most other cameras in the market is the fact that you can take either this SIM card or any SIM card from your carrier and get this camera set up in far flung locations. So we need to quickly pop out the nano SIM from the greater card, but don't throw this away because it has that card number on the back that you'll need to go into later on to top off this SIM card or set it up for a plan for long-term use. Of course, you can see that number on the very back of the nano SIM, but I wouldn't rely on that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the flap on the back and insert that card with the contacts facing up. So once it's clicked in and we've got it sealed back up, let's head over into the Eufy app and get it switched over to 4G. In the settings here, that I have the option of switching it over to the home base. So if you are on Wi-Fi, you can 
and you do have home base, you can switch it over to the home base if you want to. But of course, once we switch over to that, then we lose access to any recordings that are on the camera itself. But for this, we're gonna go ahead and go to general, and then go to connection settings. And then here at the bottom, it says change to 4G. So we're gonna click that button, tell us to want to insert the activated sync crime, which we've already done, and going to okay. Then it's gonna have us connect directly by clicking this one up here. Once the camera connects to 4G, then on the main menu, you will notice the home base option has been replaced with the current data left on your SIM card. If you click on this panel, you will be taken to the 4G menu. In this menu, you can see information about your plan, data used versus remaining, your SIM ID, and a quick link to top off your account. Under that, you can select your carrier if your SIM supports it. Below that are quick links to FAQs. Now swapping back to Wi-Fi is just as easy. You go back to the general settings, click on connection settings, and then click change to Wi-Fi at the bottom. Then you will be asked for your Wi-Fi information again. Then after a minute or so, the camera will swap back to Wi-Fi. From what I read online with different vendors' cameras, it looks like about one gigabyte a month of data is probably adequate for most 4G cameras. This of course really depends on how much you're actually gonna be using it for remote access. And keep in mind, things like push notifications will take up a small amount of data. So even if you just have the camera recording and you're not checking on it, if you do get notifications or the periodic check-ins it'll do with the cloud, will consume some of the data. So you might want to try with a small plan to begin with, and if you start running out of data, then swap over to a larger plan before you invest in heavily in a large or unlimited plan. All right, before we wrap up, let's talk about the last item we really haven't discussed with this camera, and that's the price point. So this 4G camera clocks in at $249.99 US. Now that is a bit on the steep side when you compare it to other similar models of pan tilt cameras especially the one we looked at a few weeks ago, the S340. But most cameras that have a 4G radio on board are gonna be quite a bit more expensive than their Wi-Fi competitors. Now, I did look around and try to find some similar cameras, and I've actually got a little comparison table that I put together if you wanna check it out at my website. I've got a link down below, but it's here on screen if you wanna pause. You can see that there are quite a few other 4G cameras out on the market, and they all are in a similar price point. If we look at the real link cameras, they range from about 200 to 240. And if you look at the Arlo camera, which isn't even a pan tilt, it's actually the same price as this camera. So you can see if you compare it with other 4G cameras, it is quite competitive. Now, I think right now there's a sale where it's 219. And if you check out the posted comment on this video, I'll show any sale prices that I come across. So real quick, let's take a look at who I think should and shouldn't buy this camera. Now, of course, the target market for this camera are people who happen to either have a vacation home that doesn't have internet connection, an off-grid cabin, or a corner of their property that they just can't get Wi-Fi access to, this would be a great choice to keep an eye on that location. The fact that it's solar powered means that you can set it up somewhere and it'll run indefinitely, or you can even just run off of battery power for a temporary installation. We actually took this with us on our quick trip over the spring break up to Lake Michigan, and I was able to set it up outside to keep an eye on things, and we actually captured some wildlife, which was kind of cool. But on the other side, if you don't need that capability and you're either gonna always have a Wi-Fi connection or you're gonna run it just with the onboard storage, then you might wanna look at a lesser priced model. But the fact that this has onboard storage makes it super versatile. I think I'm going to temporarily install this in a corner of my house, specifically on the back of my playhouse back there. And that way I can keep an eye on the local wildlife. And then we rapid installation with the belt that comes with it. That is super helpful if you're just gonna temporarily set up a camera somewhere, especially on a trail or like I said before, on a vacation. So all in all, I think this is a powerful camera and it comes with a ton of features for what is not too bad of a price point. So if you are interested in picking up one of these cameras, I've got links down in the description. And of course, those links go to help the channel. If you do run into any problems or any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or join our Discord. I try to be active in the comments daily and answer questions as people come up with them. Again, another big thank you goes out to Yuffie for their continued support and sending me this camera to take a look at. Now, if you are shopping around for cameras, I have an entire dedicated playlist right over here with all the camera reviews that I've done. Or if you're looking at just Eufy cameras, I've got a dedicated playlist for them right over here. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video.